Hi guys and welcome back. In this tutorial, we will install the MQTT client on our Raspberry Pi which we will use for our IoT projects. So I have this Raspberry Pi up and running to which I have connected using my laptop using the VNC viewer. If you haven't watched my video to set up the VNC viewer on Raspberry Pi, you can watch this video. Now to install the MQTT client on our Raspberry Pi, we need to use the terminal. To make our life easier, I have prepared one small document. Here I have added all the commands that we will need. So first go to our Raspberry Pi and launch the terminal. I will zoom in little bit. Now first we need to update the packages that we have installed on our Raspberry Pi. So I will type the command sudo apt get update and wait for it to get executed. After updating the packages, you can run the command sudo apt get upgrade but as I have recently upgraded my system, I will not execute it. So next, you need to add the mosquito repository package signing keys. So you need to execute these two commands one by one. So I will copy the first command. So press ctrl c and when you go to the terminal, press ctrl plus shift plus v and then press the enter key. Now we need to add the mosquito repository key. So copy this command, ctrl c, then go to the raspberry pi terminal, ctrl shift v and press enter. Now we need to make the repository accessible to the apt. So copy this command and execute it in your terminal. Now in step 5, you need to execute one of the commands given here. You need to select the command according to your Raspberry Pi OS version. So I have installed the bullseye version, so I will copy this command and execute it in the terminal. Now we again need to update the packages. As you can see the mosquito packages are getting updated. Now we are ready to install the mosquito broker. So copy this command and execute it in the terminal. This will install the mosquito broker. If it asks, press Y and press enter. Let it finish the installation. Now our mosquito broker is successfully installed. Now we need to install the mosquito clients. So copy this command and execute it in the Raspberry Pi terminal. Now the mosquito client is successfully installed. Now to check the version of your mosquito client, press mosquito hyphen v and press enter. So you can see we have mosquito 2.0.12 installed. Now as we are going to use our Raspberry Pi as the mosquito server, the mosquito service should start every time we reboot our Raspberry Pi. So copy this command and execute it in your Raspberry Pi terminal. Now we have enabled our Raspberry Pi mosquito services to start automatically. Now we need to enable the anonymous connection to our mosquito clients. As we are using this for our personal project, we will not set up any password. If you want to set up any password for your mosquito client, you can go to this website and follow the instru instructions given there. To set up the password for your mosquito client or allow anonymous connections, you need to edit the mosquito.config file. So copy this command and execute it in your terminal. It will open the configuration file. Now go to this file 
and copy these lines. Now use the arrow keys to come at the end of the file. And right click here and paste the lines that we have copied. Now press Ctrl plus X to ex exit the file. Enter Y and press Enter. I accidentally closed the terminal so I will launch it again. Again I will zoom a little bit. Now as we have edited the configuration file, we need to restart the Mosquito services to make the changes take place. So copy this command and execute it in your terminal. I have some small spelling mistake here. So first I will correct that mistake. I have one T remaining here and now execute the command. Now we need to get the IP address of our Raspberry Pi so that we can use our MQTT client in our Arduino code or ESP32 code. So to get the IP address you need to type hostname hyphen capital I and press enter. So you will get the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. You can note it down for your future reference. Now as we have successfully installed the MQTT client on our Raspberry Pi, let's test if it is working or not. First launch two terminal windows. So I will launch two terminals and arrange them side by side. You can make them little bit bigger. Now in the first terminal type the command mosquito underscore sub hyphen d hyphen t hyphen d is for enabling debugging messages and hyphen t is for entering the topic. So I will create one topic my messages slash greetings and press enter. So now in first terminal we have subscribed to this my messages slash greetings topic. In second terminal we will type the command mosquito underscore pub sorry pub hyphen d hyphen t then we will enter our topic then hyphen m to indicate the message and I will type hello guys in quotes and press enter. As soon as I have published here you can see I have received the message in the first terminal. You can repeat the command by modifying the string and you can see the message appears in the first terminal. In this way we have successfully installed the MQTT client on our Raspberry Pi. In our next tutorials, we will use it with our Arduino ESP32 to make our awesome IoT projects. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button if you like the video. Do subscribe my channel to support my work. Thank you. See you next time.